Dear all, thanks for tuning in on a new video journey on AI security. Studying AI security, I understood it is a challenge for whoever approaching that to fully grasp all details. Fortunately, MITRE released ATLAS, a dedicated project on mapping the attacks by type. It's mandatory for all security professionals to use a reference matrix to keep up to date with the definitions of each attacking technique. Studying ML and the various attacks, I understood how much I was struggling to link each attack to a practical attack example. Reason why, in this video, I decided to do something new. I will describe the pillar of the Atlas matrix, adding a valuable example of a well-known security incident that was generated by a similar attack technique, adding the remediation that is suggested. Unfortunately, MITER didn't release the matrix for blue teams, but on my blog you can find a defend version of it in a draft status. Let's start from what MITER Atlas is. MITRE ATLAS, or Adversarial Threat Landscape for Artificial Intelligence Systems, targets adversarial threats specifically aimed at artificial intelligence and machine learning systems. Its primary goal is to help organizations understand, categorize, and defend against potential threats to AI and ML technologies. The framework provides a comprehensive knowledge base similar to MITRE ATT and CK, which is widely used for cybersecurity but tailored to the unique challenges faced by AI systems. Key targets of MITRE ATLAS. One, AI and ML models. Models that process data, make decisions or provide outputs can be manipulated, poisoned or stolen. Two, data integrity. AI systems heavily rely on data for training and operation. MITRE ATLAS focuses on protecting the integrity of training and input data against attacks like poisoning, evasion or inference. 3. AI Supply Chain The supply chain of AI systems, including data sets, models, libraries and APIs, can be targeted by adversaries. Attacks can involve injecting malicious code or data into the supply chain. 4. Adversarial ML Techniques Atlas identifies and documents techniques that adversaries use to manipulate, degrade, or exploit AI systems. This includes model evasion, adversarial inputs, data poisoning, model theft, and more. 5. AI-powered systems MITRE ATLAS addresses threats to systems where AI plays a critical role such as autonomous vehicles, fraud detection systems, healthcare diagnostics, and cybersecurity defenses. Purpose MITRE ATLAS provides a structured way to understand and respond to the growing threat landscape around AI and ML. By identifying common tactics, techniques and procedures used by adversaries, organizations can better secure AI systems, develop stronger defenses against AI-specific threats and promote AI safety and robustness in critical sectors. In essence, MITRE ATLAS is designed to help defenders navigate and mitigate the specific risks posed to AI systems, allowing for better protection and resilience of these increasingly essential technologies. Now let's list one by one each technique category, starting from... Reconnaissance. Techniques used by adversaries to gather information about the AI system. For instance, in the case of the Tesla Model S autopilot back in 2020, researchers demonstrated that slight modifications to lane markings, physical changes, could mislead Tesla's autopilot system, causing the car to veer into the wrong lane. This was possible after gathering information about how the machine learning model processes visual data and using that to plan an attack. To mitigate such risks, Implement strong input validation and continuous monitoring. Ensure input data, such as visual sensors, undergoes real-time validation. Additionally, use redundancy like multiple sensors and AI behavior monitoring to detect unusual inputs or outputs. Resource development. Developing and preparing resources that are required to conduct attacks. A notable example is Microsoft Tay from 2016. Attackers used public platforms to train Microsoft's AI chatbot Tay by feeding it poisoned data, including inflammatory and inappropriate language. This caused the chatbot to generate offensive content, demonstrating how public data can be maliciously altered. 
To counter this, use data filtering and review processes. Employ strict filters and oversight mechanisms to prevent the ingestion of poisoned or inappropriate data into the AI system. Human oversight during training is critical to monitor for anomalies. Initial access. Gaining initial foothold or unauthorized access to an AI system. Take the Clearview AI incident from 2020, for example. Clearview AI, a company providing facial recognition software, was breached when attackers exploited vulnerabilities in its public-facing API. The company's platform used billions of publicly scraped images from social media to identify individuals. Attackers were able to access Clearview's facial image database, raising significant privacy concerns and showing how AI systems using sensitive biometric data can be vulnerable when public APIs are not adequately secured. To mitigate such threats, implement robust API security. Use strong authentication methods like OAuth and API keys and authorization mechanisms to control access. Ensure public APIs expose only minimal, non-sensitive data and use rate limiting to prevent abuse. Machine learning model access. This refers to gaining direct access to the machine learning model. For instance, consider the OpenA GPT-2 model theft in 2019. OpenAI initially withheld the full release of its GPT-2 language model due to concerns about potential misuse. Despite this, API access to the model was available for testing purposes. Attackers were able to send a series of queries to the model in an attempt to reconstruct parts of it. This raised concerns about how model inference APIs could be abused to extract proprietary machine learning models, a practice known as model extraction. To mitigate such risks, apply model watermarking and API throttling. Use techniques such as model watermarking to detect when a model has been stolen. API access should be monitored, throttled and rate limited to prevent repeated queries used for model extraction. Execution. This involves executing malicious actions or commands after accessing the system. A notable example is Tesla's AI camera blind spot exploit in 2019. In this case, researchers placed small stickers on stop signs that were almost imperceptible to human drivers. However, Tesla's autopilot system, which relied on visual object detection, misclassified the stop sign as a yield sign. This execution phase of the attack highlighted how seemingly minor changes to the environment could lead to critical misinterpretations by AI, demonstrating the potential dangers of adversarial examples. To counteract this, use adversarial training. Train AI models using adversarial examples, such as slightly altered images or data, to increase their robustness and ability to handle such malicious inputs without being fooled. Persistence. This is about maintaining access to the system over time. An example is the trojaning attack on ML models in 2017. In this case, attackers were able to insert a backdoor into an AI model during the training phase. This trojaned model behaved normally during most inputs, but could be triggered to perform malicious actions when given specific predefined inputs. Such backdoor models are difficult to detect because the system functions correctly most of the time, maintaining persistence until the attacker chooses to exploit it. To mitigate this, use model integrity checks and secure update mechanisms. Regularly audit and validate model integrity to ensure it has not been altered. Use cryptographic signatures to verify updates and prevent unauthorized model changes. Privilege escalation. Elevating access levels within the AI system, for example, IBM adversarial patch attack in 2018. Researchers at IBM designed adversarial patches that could be placed on physical objects to confuse machine learning models. For instance, a patch placed on a stop sign caused a vision system to misclassify it as a speed limit sign. These patches allowed adversaries to bypass the AI system's normal security protocols and essentially escalate their privileges, gaining the ability to fool the model into making incorrect decisions. To mitigate this, implement access control and AI auditing. Use least privilege principles to limit who can modify AI models or system configurations. Continuously audit model behavior to detect unauthorized modifications or escalations.
Defense evasion, avoiding detection or bypassing security mechanisms. An example is Deep Locker malware from 2018. IBM introduced a proof of concept called Deep Locker, which was AI powered malware that could hide its malicious payload until it recognized specific facial features or voice commands. It was able to bypass traditional security mechanisms because it only activated under very specific conditions, such as detecting a particular individual's face. This showed how AI could be used to evade detection, making it harder for traditional cybersecurity measures to identify threats. To mitigate this, use anomaly detection and behavioral analysis. Deploy anomaly detection systems that can monitor AI behavior for signs of malicious use and combine them with robust endpoint security that analyzes behavior instead of static signatures. Credential access. Stealing or acquiring credentials for unauthorized access. For example, the Facebook AI dataset leak in 2020. Attackers were able to exploit weak credential management at Facebook to access sensitive AI datasets. This included AI models used for facial recognition and image classification. The breach exposed how improper credential management could lead to unauthorized access to valuable and sensitive data used in AI systems, emphasizing the need for stronger security controls around AI datasets. To mitigate this, implement multi-factor authentication and secure credential management. Ensure strong password policies, use MFA for sensitive systems, and employ secure storage mechanisms such as hardware security modules for credentials. Discovery. Gathering detailed information about the AI system to manipulate it. For example, in 2018, attackers were able to steal machine learning model weights via API calls. They queried APIs of machine learning models, such as those from cloud services, repeatedly to infer the model's internal structure. This allowed them to discover sensitive details about the model's behavior and copy its functionality. To mitigate this, you can obfuscate model architecture and restrict model queries. Limiting the amount of information exposed by APIs and considering techniques like differential privacy can help reduce the risk of revealing sensitive model details. Collection. Collecting data from the AI system, often for further exploitation. Take, for instance, the Cambridge Analytica incident in 2018. Cambridge Analytica collected Facebook user data without proper consent, which was then used to train machine learning models for targeted political ads. This collection of data without consent led to privacy violations and manipulation of public opinion. To mitigate such risks, use data anonymization and consent management. Implementing strong consent frameworks for data collection and processing, as well as using anonymization techniques, can prevent the collection of personally identifiable information without proper authorization. ML attack staging. Preparing and creating malicious models or adversarial data for future attacks. For example, in 2019, researchers demonstrated how an ML model could be intentionally backdoored during the staging process, which remained dormant until specific conditions were met. This backdoored model could be activated later to generate incorrect outputs for certain inputs. To mitigate this, secure model training pipelines and validate external models, ensure the integrity of the training process by monitoring for backdoors and securing the supply chain. Validate any third-party models before deployment. Exfiltration, stealing sensitive data from the AI system, for instance, in 2020, attackers used model inversion techniques on a facial recognition system to reconstruct images of individuals used in training. By querying the system, they could exfiltrate sensitive facial data without directly accessing the training set. To mitigate this, implement differential privacy. Use techniques like differential privacy to ensure that individual data points cannot be reconstructed from queries to the model. This limits the exposure of sensitive data while maintaining model utility. Impact. Disrupting or manipulating the AI system to cause harm or achieve an adversary's goals. Take the Microsoft chatbot Tay in 2016, for example. 
Attackers manipulated Tay by feeding it harmful inputs, which resulted in the chatbot producing offensive and harmful outputs. The impact was severe, damaging Microsoft's reputation and forcing the company to take the AI offline. To mitigate this, deploy continuous monitoring and human-in-the-loop systems. Monitor AI outputs in real time for unexpected behavior and ensure human oversight is involved, especially for public-facing AI systems. Implement kill switches for immediate deactivation if the AI starts behaving maliciously. Thanks for exploring with me all the group of techniques and example of data breach using those techniques. I am working on more dedicated deep dive of each technique to understand better the differences. If you like the video, subscribe to YouTube to be notified when new content is out. Take care. Cheers.